I, I get a lot, you get a lot of guys who will sort of message me and write me in and be like, I don't know if I can be that dominant guy. I don't know if I can. Oh, you absolutely can. If I could, you know, ever do that kind of stuff. Or, or I'll get guys who are like, who might think my wife wouldn't like that. My girlfriend is too pure and too innocent and too mm-hmm. much of a princess. She wouldn't like that. I'm, I, look, if if she has ever read, <laughs> <laughs> she's ever read any kind of romance novel, I guarantee you she has some degree of perverted thoughts going on in her head. Like men are way more like like horny and and want sex all the time. Women are more perverted. So when in the, the things that they want out of sex are a lot tend to be a lot darker and more twisted than what most dudes are into, or but what than what most dudes fantasize yeah. about at least. I don't know if you remember this, but I but I put that in my book. Um, there was a study done, I think, by Google engineers on search engine habits, and um, the top search results for women looking for uh, kink, you know, into the dirty talk sort of area, I think, was um, vampires, werewolves, pirates, <laughs> surgeons, and billionaires. <laughs> Powerful men. Yeah. That can do interesting things with uh, great reach, yield, and uh, influence. So and and dangerous men too. Dangerous, yeah. yeah. Dangerous, um, yeah. You know, uh, you know, women love a dangerous guy that um, can be civilized. You know, they they want to feel safe, but they want to know that you're dangerous at the same time. So you have well, to have some some dirty side to it. I I take that a step further, and I say all the time that like the demonstrating the capacity. Capa- I'll make that. I'll emphasize that the capacity for violence actually demonstrates that you can keep her safe and you can protect her. Correct. Because there's a big difference between being peaceful and being harmless. Those are two different things. Yeah, this a is a Jordan a dude, Peterson thing. Peaceful yeah, like a dude, who's, a dude who's peaceful can actually like, is can is withholding his ability for violence. He has he has the ability for violence, but he's not using it. A dude who's harmless can't even conjure up violence if he wanted to. And so this I. When we're tapping into these things, like being more dominant in the bedroom, being more commanding with our language, getting her to telling her what to do in the bedroom, for example, we're tapping into that more dominant part of the masculine sexual energy, which is what she resonates with. That's what she's looking for because it demonstrates you have that more dangerous side. Um, why do you think it is that so many men are are plugged into the notion of? just being the good guy and being respectful and, you know, not being the dirty talker, you know, whereas some other guy, you know, right around the corner, Kevin from sales or Steve from accounting whispers in her ear one day by the vending machine when there's nobody in the lunchroom. Why do you think those guys get it? And the average Joe doesn't. Cause the average Joe has been indoctrinated with Hallmark movies. <laughs> <laughs> the average Joe has watched too many fucking Sorry, just wearing your show again, Ron. Uh, too many rom coms and too many, yeah, too many goddamn romantic comedies. Like, it's, it's ugh, even what was that? What, what was that one with Will Smith? Was it called Hitch? Hitch, that was it. Where he was like the dating coach and the fat dude, like, got, yeah. was just simping over like whatever that whatever her name was, and then got. I'm like, that's a perfect example of this this retarded narrative of like, if I'm just a nice guy long enough, if I just treat her like a princess, then eventually she'll come around. No, she she won't. She'll completely ignore you at at best, or she'll take advantage of you and use you for your time and your resources, and mm. she'll shack up with with like you said, Joe from accounting or whatever. 